Welcome back to the deep dive. Yeah. Today, uh, we're tackling Zadie Smith's White Teeth. Oh, White Teeth. It's a book that's as layered and lively as the London it depicts. Definitely. We're diving into the world of two wartime friends, Archie Jones and Somatic Ball. Right. And their families. Mm -hmm. And trust me, their lives are anything but ordinary. Oh, absolutely. The book really throws you for a loop. What's so captivating about White Teeth is how Smith takes these seemingly everyday lives yeah. and uses them to grapple with really big questions about identity, cultural clashes, yeah. and even the ethics of scientific progress. It's pretty mind-blowing. Yeah. We've got a stack of notes and thoughts from you. Right. And we're ready to unpack it all. Okay. So where do we even begin with this whirlwind of characters and stories? Well, I think the novel throws us right into the action. Okay. Starting with Archie Jones on New Year's Eve, 1974. Okay. He's about to end it all. Oh, wow. But instead, six weeks later, he impulsively marries Clara Bowden. Wow. Talk about a dramatic shift yeah. from almost suicide to marriage in just six weeks. It sets the stage for the whole thing. That's quite a leap. Yeah. So how does Archie's wartime friend, Samad Iqbal, fit into all of this? Samad and his wife... Alsana, okay. are Bangladeshi immigrants living in Wilsdon. Got it. Their lives, alongside their twin sons, okay. Milat and Majid, mm -hmm. become intricately intertwined with Archie's family. Oh, interesting. Creating this fascinating mix of cultures and perspectives. From what I've read, it seems like there's a lot of tension. Oh, yeah. Simmering beneath the surface of these relationships. For sure. Archie's casual racism and Samad's struggles with religious fundamentalism are just a couple of examples. Right. It feels like a recipe for some serious cultural clashes. You're absolutely right. Yeah. The novel delves deep into these cultural clashes, not just between the two families, okay. but also within them. It explores the challenges of holding on to tradition while raising children in a modern multicultural environment like London. It makes you wonder, Yeah. are these clashes inevitable in a society as diverse as London? That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. Is it possible to find a sense of belonging without sacrificing your own cultural identity? White Teeth grapples with that. It does, yeah. Through the lives of these characters. Yeah. Particularly the younger generation. Right. Like, take Samad's sons, for example. Uh -huh. He decides to send one of them, Majid, mm. back to Bangladesh for a strict Islamic upbringing. That seems like a pretty drastic decision. It is. What was he hoping to achieve by sending Majid away? Samad believed that by immersing Majid in traditional Islamic values, okay. he could protect him from the perceived corruption of Western culture. It's fascinating. Yeah. How parents, especially immigrant parents, right. try to reconcile their own cultural heritage with the realities of raising children in a new environment. It's almost like he's trying to control his son's destiny by sending him away. It is, yeah. But what about the other son, Melot? Right. How does he react to all of this? Well, M Melot stays in London and becomes increasingly rebellious. Oh, wow. Eventually joining a radical Islamic group. Really? Called Kevin, Keepers of the Eternal and Victorious Islamic Nation. Wow. It's a stark contrast to Megid, who ends up embracing secular intellectualism in Bangladesh. Wow, that's a pretty dramatic divergence in their paths. Yeah. It makes you wonder if Samad's decision to send Megid away actually pushed Melot further down the path of extremism. It's possible. Like a reaction to his father's attempt to control his brother's life. It's a thought-provoking point. Yeah. The novel definitely explores the unintended consequences of our actions, especially I mean, when it comes to trying to mold someone else's identity. Absolutely. I know. And it's not just the boys, right? No, no. Irie, Archie, and Clara's daughter. Yes. Also goes through her own journey of self-discovery. She's navigating her mixed heritage, her complex feelings for Malat, mm -hmm. and her experiences with the very different world of the Chalfins. Irie's journey is particularly interesting yeah. because it highlights the fluidity of identity, especially in a multicultural context. Yeah, She doesn't fit neatly into any one box and constantly challenges the idea that our backgrounds define who we are. I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah, White teeth mm -hmm. seems to suggest that identity is not something fixed or inherited, right. but rather something we actively create through our choices and experiences. 
Precisely. Yeah. And it's not just cultural identity that's being explored. Right. Smith also throws genetic engineering into the mix with a character named Marcus Chalfin. Oh, right. Marcus Chalfin. Yeah. I read about Marcus in his future mouse experiment. Yes. It sounds like something straight out of a science fiction novel. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Marcus, a geneticist, mm -hmm. is obsessed with controlling the destiny of his lab mice. Okay. He sees his experiment as a triumph of science. Yeah. But it also raises a lot of ethical questions about tampering with the very building blocks of life. It feels like a metaphor for the larger anxieties we have about technology and its impact on humanity. Definitely. How much control should we have over our own biology? Right. What are the potential consequences of our scientific ambition? Exactly. These are big questions. And White Teeth doesn't shy away from those tough questions. It doesn't. It forces us to confront our own fears and fascinations with scientific progress and what it might mean for the future of our species. It's mind-blowing to think about. Yeah. And while Marcus is busy playing God in his lab, right. the world outside is changing rapidly. Yes. The novel touches on major events like Thatcherism, the fall of the Berlin Wall, mm. and the growing racial and religious tensions in London. Right. It's like the characters' personal lives are unfolding against this backdrop of societal upheaval. Absolutely. These historical events provide a context for the character struggles, highlighting how external forces shape our choices and relationships. How interesting. It reminds us that our individual stories are always intertwined with the larger narratives of history and society. It sounds like White Teeth is as much about social change as it is about personal journeys. It is, yeah. It's about how individuals navigate shifting landscapes, both within themselves and in the world around them. That's a great way to put it. Thanks. And it all builds towards a climax that brings these characters and their complex stories together in a truly unexpected way. No, I'm really intrigued. Yeah. The notes I have mention this chaotic gathering at the Parrot Institute. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Converging storylines. Mm -hmm and an ending that leaves you with more questions than answers. It does. It seems like things are about to get really interesting. Oh, you have no idea. Okay. The ending of White Teeth is as thought-provoking and unconventional as the rest of the novel. All right. <laughs> but before we dive into that, let's explore these themes of cultural clashes and genetic engineering a bit further. Okay. There's so much to unpack. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, let's dive deeper into these cultural clashes. Okay. It seems like Samad's journey is a prime example of how tradition and modernity can collide. Right. Especially for immigrant families. Yeah, Samad's story really gets to the heart of what it means to belong. Yeah. He's constantly wrestling with how to maintain his Bengali heritage while living in a Western society. Mm -hmm. You know, he even romanticizes his ancestor, Mangal Pandey. Okay. This figure revered in India for his role in the 1857 uprising against British rule. Right. It's like he's searching for a heroic legacy in his family history. Oh, interesting. Something to ground him in this new world. But it's interesting because his friend Archie, yeah. who fought alongside Samad's supposed ancestor in World War II, right. remembers things differently. Oh, really? Archie points out that the term pandy, which comes from Mangal Pandey's name, actually had a negative connotation in the British Army. Oh, wow. It referred to a mutineer or even a coward. Oh, that's a big difference. Yeah. It reveals this gap between myth and reality. Yeah. Between the stories we tell ourselves about our past mm -hmm. and the actual historical record. It's a good point. Samad's clinging to this romanticized version of his ancestor, but yeah. it's based on a selective reading of history. Yeah, so are you saying that it makes you think about how we all construct narratives about our past. Exactly. Choosing to emphasize certain aspects and downplay others. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like Samad is trying to create a sense of belonging. Right. By connecting himself to this grand historical narrative. Exactly. Even if it means bending the truth a bit. Yeah. And that desire for control extends to his family as well. Absolutely. His decision to send Mad back to Bangladesh for a pure Islamic upbringing right. is a prime example. Yeah. He's trying to impose his own rigid definition of what it means to be Bengali and Muslim. Onto his son. Onto his son, yeah. And as we discussed earlier, it backfires spectacularly. Big time. Majid ends up embracing a more secular intellectual path. Right. While Malad, who stays in London, gets caught up in religious extremism. Yeah. It seems like trying to force an identity onto someone can have the opposite of the intended effect. It really can. It raises the question, Yeah. can identity be imposed or does it emerge organically from lived experience? That's the question. White teeth 
seems to suggest that true belonging comes from embracing the complexities and contradictions of who we are, yeah. rather than trying to fit into a predefined box. I agree. And this idea of embracing complexity applies to Irie's journey as well. Absolutely. She's grappling with her mixed heritage, right. her Jamaican roots, mm -hmm. and her feelings for Malad, yeah. who represents a culture that her father views with suspicion. Yeah. It's like she's caught in the middle trying to carve out her own path. Irie's story is so compelling. It is. Because it highlights the limitations of simple categories. Yeah. She doesn't fit neatly into any one box. Right. She's British, Jamaican, and connected to Bengali culture through her friendship with Malat. Mm -hmm. She embodies the fluidity of identity. Yeah. Especially in a multicultural society like London. And her exploration of her Jamaican heritage adds another layer to the story. It does. It reminds us that these cultural clashes are not just happening in the present. Right. They're rooted in a long history of colonialism and cultural exchange. Right. <laughs> history. It doesn't. And its impact on the present. Yeah. It's woven into the very fabric of the characters' lives and relationships. And so we've got these cultural clashes playing out on a personal and historical level. Yeah. And then Smith throws in genetic engineering with Marcus Chalfin and his future mouse experiment. Right. It seems like she's deliberately bringing together these seemingly disparate themes. She is, yeah. Culture, identity, and scientific progress uh -huh. to make us think about how they're all interconnected. That's exactly what's so brilliant about White Teeth. It is. It's not just a novel about identity politics or cultural clashes. Right. It's about how those things intersect with technology and our anxieties about the future. It's true. Marcus's experiment becomes this potent symbol. Yeah of our desire to control the very essence of life. It's almost like a modern day Frankenstein story, isn't it? It is. We're fascinated by the possibilities of science. Yeah. But also terrified of the potential consequences. Right. What if we create something we can't control? Yeah. What if our creations turn against us? Those fears are definitely present in White Teeth. They are. Marcus is so focused on the intellectual puzzle of his experiment yeah. that he seems oblivious to the ethical implications. It's interesting. He's playing God, yeah. manipulating life at its most fundamental level. But as we see throughout the novel, mm -hmm. there are always unintended consequences to our actions. Always. Samad tries to control his son's destinies and it blows up in his face. Right. Marcus tries to control the destiny of his mice. And who knows what the ultimate outcome will be. Yeah, exactly. It seems like Smith is suggesting that true control is an illusion. It is. Life is messy and unpredictable. It is. There are always factors we can't account for. Yeah. Twists and turns that defy our expectations. Oh, sure. Which brings us to the ending of the novel. Right. And that chaotic gathering at the Parrot Institute where all these storylines collide. Oh, yeah. I'm dying to know what happens. Well, the ending of White Teeth okay. is as unconventional and thought-provoking as the rest of the novel. Okay. Smith masterfully brings all these characters together in this one space. Yeah with their conflicting beliefs and motivations yeah. and lets the chaos unfold. It sounds like a powder keg waiting to explode. It is. Wow. But it's also a brilliant reflection of the messiness of life itself. Yeah. There are no easy answers, mm. no neat resolutions. Mm -hmm. Smith leaves us with a sense of ambiguity, forcing us to confront the complexities of these issues and grapple with our own interpretations. So it's not a happily ever after kind of ending. Definitely not. Okay. But it's an ending that stays with you long after you've finished the last page. I bet. It makes you think about the choices we make, mm. the forces that shape our lives, yeah, and the unexpected connections that bind us together. It sounds like the perfect ending for a novel that celebrates complexity. It is. And challenges us to think differently about the world. Yeah. I'm so ready to dive into this final part and see how it all comes together. Let's do it. Okay. The ending of White Teeth is full of surprises and thought-provoking moments. Uh -huh. It's the perfect culmination of everything we've been discussing. All right, we're back, ready to unpack this whirlwind of an ending. Yeah. We left off with all these characters converging at the Parrot Institute. Right. What happens when all their stories, all their baggage uh -huh. collide in this one space? Okay, picture this. Okay. It's New Year's Eve, 1992. The Parrot Institute is buzzing with anticipation for Marcus Chalfin's Future Mouse exhibit. Right. But it's not just a scientific showcase. Yeah. It's a powder keg of emotions. We've got 
Melot fueled by radical ideology, planning an attack. Yes. We've got Majid fresh off the plane from Bangladesh. Right. Thrown back into a family dynamic he barely recognizes. Exactly. And Iris caught in the crossfire, uh. struggling to reconcile her feelings for Melot with her own evolving sense of self. It's a lot. It is. Smith masterfully orchestrates this chaos, yeah. weaving together these disparate threads into a climax that is both thrilling and thought-provoking. It sounds intense. It is. So amidst the chaos, is there a sense of inevitability? You know, there is. All these characters, despite their attempts to control their own destinies, right. were always hurtling towards this moment. I think so. It's as if their lives, their choices, yeah. and even their chance encounters have all been leading up to this explosive convergence at the Parrot Institute. Mm. It makes you think about the role of fate versus free will. It does. Do we have any agency in shaping our own lives? Right. Or are we just pawns in some larger game? That's the question White Teeth grapples with. Yeah. And Smith doesn't offer any easy answers. Right. Instead, she leaves us with an ending that is open to interpretation. Okay. The final scene is ambiguous. Okay. The characters' fates are left unresolved. Interesting. And we're left to ponder what it all means. I love that she trusts the reader to draw their own conclusions. Yeah, me too. It's not a neat and tidy resolution. Right. But it feels true to the messiness of life itself. It does. Things don't always wrap up with a bow. Yeah, they don't. And sometimes the most powerful stories are the ones that leave us with lingering questions. Exactly. And that ambiguity is what makes the ending so compelling. Mm -hmm. It forces us to confront the complexities of these issues and grapple with our own interpretation. Yeah, what happens to Malat? Right. Does he go through with his attack? Who knows? Does Majid find his place in this family that feels both familiar and alien? It's a good question. And what becomes of Irie torn between her past and her future? Yeah, it's really interesting to think about. Smith leaves those questions hanging in the air. She does. Inviting us to imagine the possibilities. Yes. It's like she's saying that life doesn't end with the final page of a book. Yeah. Exactly. These character stories continue evolving and unfolding beyond the confines of the narrative. And in a way, their stories become intertwined with our own. Oh, that's a cool thought. We bring our own experiences, biases, and interpretations to the reading experience, yeah. shaping the meaning of the novel in ways that Smith herself might not have even envisioned. That's really interesting. It's a testament to the power of literature to spark conversation and provoke thought long after the book is closed. It really is. White Teeth has been such a wild ride. It has. A roller coaster of emotions ideas, yeah. and cultural clashes. Definitely. It's funny, insightful, and ultimately deeply human. It's left me with so much to think about. I bet. And I have a feeling I'll be revisiting these characters and their stories for years to come. It's a novel that stays with you. It really is. That challenges your assumptions and expands your understanding of the world. Hmm. It's a celebration of diversity, a reminder that even in our differences, we're all connected by the common threads of humanity. Beautifully said. And for our listeners, if you haven't already experienced the brilliance of white teeth, I highly recommend you add it to your reading list. <laughs> it's a journey you won't regret. It's a deep dive into the heart of London. It is. Into the complexities of identity. Yeah. And into the messy, beautiful tapestry of human experience. And on that note, we'll wrap up our deep dive into white teeth. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration as much as we have. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Keep those minds open and keep exploring.